Hey everyone, it's Sam McGuire here from Enterprise DNA. Today I want to go over calculate table, the calculate table function inside of the DEX language for Power BI. Now, to be honest with you, for a long time when I started out using Power BI, I really had no no reason why I needed to use calculate table. And it did actually offer a bit of confusion for me. And I I'm just presuming out there that I, I, I think if you're watching this video, you may have found yourself in a similar situation. You may have got your head around Calculate and how that works, but Calculate table is just that a little bit additional of information and you haven't really found many uses for it uh, and you are looking just for clarification around how it works. Now, I was it's great because I was in exactly the same position and I feel now based on what I've uh, worked through over time in terms of ha uh, scenarios and, 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 and demos that I've worked through that I now have a very strong understanding of exactly how to think about using it and exactly when you should use it. There are actually, before I go on, a few different ways you can use Calculate Table. They can be used uh, as like a filter mechanism, uh, but what I want to show you, or the way I want you to think of it, or what the way I feel like is best used, is by incorporating it into functions that uh, require ta uh, tables within them. Okay, so basically, you know, the, 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 there's a little bit to that, obviously, but the, the main thing to, to understand, you've got to understand, is what a table function is. Okay, so that's the very first thing, and and this is you know this isn't something that you learn. You know, it's not the very first thing you learn in Power BI, and that's for sure. Um, but you do have to understand what is a table function. There's a key thing, right? Now, a table function can come in a various different forms, um, but the, the, the simple ones that you're probably using already are things like all, uh, or you know, maybe filter. Um, can, uh, you can use um, uh, things like all accept as well. Uh, you can use accept, intercept, uh, summarize, um, a whole like natural inner join. There's a whole whole raft of these things that you can um, that you can utilize, and they don't return a value. They don't return what are called scalar values. They actually return tables. Okay, and you might not use them very much because when you're just using the front end of Power BI. And I'll just show an example here of a, of a full solution that, that I developed. When you're using the front end of Power BI, really all you're trying to do is return results, right? You're trying to return values that you can put onto a chart and a visualization. But as you get more advanced in Power BI, you realize, well, I've got to get, you've got to get more uh, technical with your DAX formulas. And as you do, you really realize quite quickly that table functions are, are how you get there. Table functions are how you uh, really start getting this advanced analysis, but enabling you to do it, you can enable it within your models in a really efficient way. Just a side note, what we're looking at here is a full uh, analytical workshop. Uh, it was a scenario method workshop that, uh, that enterprise DNA members can attend, and it was all about churn analytics. So in this case, new customers. Uh, we also talked about lost customers and steady customers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so what I'll do, I'll put a link below in the description uh, so you can see where this uh, replay and resource uh, sits. But if you do want to access it, uh, you, you will have to upgrade uh, to, to membership at some time in the future. But I want to talk about calculate table because calculate table was a key key part of this analysis, right? You, you, to actually use find this insight like new customers, lost customers, steady customers, anything around churn analytics, you've really got to understand what is going on with calculate table because that uh, calculate table enables you to find these insights very efficiently. So let's just have a look at the formula and I'll show you. So. To calculate new customers, what we needed to do was we needed to compare a customer set to a, pr a customer set from a prior period, right? And so what I did is I said, in this particular case, and with these particular answers, I, I'm saying, I want to look at our current customers in, in any particular month, and then I want to compare that customer set to any customers who have purchased off us in the ni last 90 days, okay? If a customer is purchasing off us in a current month and they are not or have not purchased in that time window, that prior time window of 90 days, then we, in this case, are considering them new, okay? Now, to be able to find that insight, what we needed to do, and this is where, the, this is really where Calculate Table uh, is best used in my view, is it's used within, it's used within 
other table functions, right? So in this case, so let's, look, let's look down the bottom here. What accept does is it evaluates two tables and it returns the customers, or in this case, it returns values, it returns values from a table that are in the first table and are not in the second table, okay? And then it returns another table on the back of that of all of these values which aren't in, uh, in this table. And in this case, and, and, and to, to actually work out this calculation, we wrapped it in count rows because you can't uh, return a table function from a formula. You need to actually turn it into an, an actual value. And that's how I did that there. But key point here, calculate table. What does it do? Well, think about that logic I just described. We needed to open up a window in any particular context which looked back 90 days to actually find a customer set, right? So find all of the customers that bought us in the last 90 days. Well, you'll see here that calculate is evaluating a uh, table. It evaluates a table in the current context, but because it is wrapped inside of calculate table, it can change the context of the calculation, or it can change the evaluation of that table. Okay, so we don't want to look at this particular customer set in the current context. We want to look at it over the prior 90 days. And so we can do that by putting some uh, filtering function inside of calculate table. I've chosen filter, but think of, you could use dates between, you could you could date add, there's, there's other things you can use. Uh, and I've opened up a window instead of the current context of the prior 90 days or the prior three months basically. And then we've recreated this table or, or this, this virtual table of, of customers in this case over that 90 day period instead of the current context. And then from there, we've, we've placed it inside another table function to then go and do some follow-up evaluation. So does that, hopefully that is actually making it clear wh why and when you would use calculate table. I, I think um, certainly when, you know, this, w when I went through uh, this demo, uh, it, it certainly, I could, I could, I could sense from those who, who were who, or members who were there live um, and who've um, watched it on a replay and, and, and communicated with me post that this is what, this really showcased, okay, well, this is, this is, this is a perfect use for, for calculate table over any other sort of use is you use it to, you know, you use it uh, to change the context of a table evaluation, that's generally how you use it, but then you can incorporate the formula into other formulas where you need to compare tables like accept or intercept is another one that you can utilize as well. Now, you can get even more advanced, right? So this is just comparing one uh, calculate table to values, which is just counting up all the customers in the current context. Check out what the lost customers uh, calculation is. So you see here that we've actually, um, I won't run through the logic here because I'll, I'll maybe leave that to another video in, in the future, that uh, we, we are uh, again doing a similar sort of thing. Uh, if you look down here, we're using accept, but calculate table actually appears in two of the variables, right? Because in this case, what we're doing in the current context, we are changing the time period uh, or, or we're changing the evaluation of each of these individual tables based on a differing time period. And calculate table is again perfect for that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically the only function really that enables you to do that really, really effectively. Um, so this just shows a more more advanced way. Really, it's really just uh, extrapolating out what we what I showed in the new customers to your lost customers, and. Maybe if you've been using Power BI for a while, you'll uh, you'll think you'll look at this and you'll think, "Wow, this is really intensive analysis. This is really intensive analysis." But we can make the formulas pretty intuitive. I feel, uh, especially when you use variables as well. Using variables is key, uh, and then and then it's really just uh, working through the logic. Think about what calculate table does. Think about what uh, uh, you put inside the first uh, parameter in calculate table. It's a table function, so a virtual table, and then you're changing the context of that table evaluation. Uh, and, and, and that's just the key thing to just roll over in your mind over and over again, and then you'll understand calculate table very well. And then from there, you know, you can then put it inside another table function and, and see, see how things evaluate from there. So 
I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed this content and got a lot out of it. So I know calculator table is a little bit hard to understand, especially if you're starting out. So so that's why I wanted to create a video of it. Um, and uh, you know this is this is some unique analysis that that can be enabled very very intuitively. I feel by utilizing calculate table uh, really really well. If you like if you like this video and like the content and got a lot out of it, um, certainly throw the video a like. Really appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty of uh, content coming out on the Power BI uh, all the time. So we want to get that into your hands as soon as possible. All the best. Good luck with this one. Uh, talk to you soon.